Hey guys, welcome back to the second video in this series. And first off, if you're new, I've been working on a project that's dedicated towards highlighting one of the best things about Rice University, its residential colleges. Again, this will sort of be like a video series where I talk about every single residential college at Rice. You know, talk about its dorms, its culture, the students there, everything that you'd want to know when you come to Rice and want to learn about its residential colleges. And if you watched my last video, you know that I talked about Baker. In this video, we're going to be talking about Weiss College. And so, without further ado, let's get started. Weiss College resides in the southern side of campus, near the Outer Loop. It was first established in 1957 as one of the original Rice Colleges, but it was later relocated to another building in 2002. Weiss also has a quad-like design, with its dorms connected in a rectangular-like fashion, and their commons are on one side of the quad, leading to an open field where a lot of social events happen. So in this section, if you watched my last video, you know that we're going to be talking about the culture and the students at Weiss. And who's better to talk about the culture and students than someone from Weiss? And a fellow YouTuber, Stephanie Hu. So let's go meet her right now. no matter what their backgrounds or their interests may be. And our mascot here for Weiss is the war pig. And so during beer bike, we carry a flower, we push a float of a giant pig. One of our main traditions here at Weiss is the Ubangi. And this happens when it's someone's birthday and someone will usually stand on top of the chair in the commons and say, hey, blah, 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 it's their birthday. And we all rush out outside if the weather's nice and the birthday person will lay flat on the ground, someone will lean over them, well not touching them, and then everyone else will crowd around them in a circle and just start chanting. And it's very, I guess it's very strange for a college to do that, but it's something that we really, I guess, developed throughout the years and it's, very, it's a very loving gesture and everyone seems to enjoy it. So another one of Weiss's traditions is Hello Hamlet. And it's a Weiss production that is played every four years. So actually this year is the one of the years that we're producing this. And so it started, I think, I don't know exactly what year it was started, but it was started in the late 1990s. And I guess it's just been a tradition ever since, every four years we've had like, why students direct this, and then any students from Rice in general can come and watch. For Weiss, we have a lot of facilities here. I'm very, very, very thankful because they're all very, very nice. Uh, for instance, we have one large classroom and one small classroom, and they're both on the first floor, so it's very easy to access it. And then uh, we have two kitchens. We have one on the second floor and one on the third floor, and they're known as 2FK and 3FK. And the second floor kitchen is actually very newly renovated, so it's very nice and has like very, I guess, uh, advanced technology for like ovens and microwaves. <laughs> and it's very, it's very pretty just to sit there and study and also like eat food. There is also a movie room on the fourth floor with new couches, and then we also have a dance room on the third floor, and that's very nice if you just want to find a place to exercise, but you don't want to walk all the way to the rec. You can go to the dance room, and basically there's like a space for you to work out, do yoga, dance, whatever you want to do. There's also a, we also have a balcony, and we also have a, space called Sparkies and that's just kind of like where people can just like meet up and hang out. Next up, as you may know, is the dorm. So let's visit Stephanie's dorm. Hi guys, welcome to my dorm. 
door and right now we are in the common area of my dorm and I live in a suite which means that there are two doubles and then there's a common space and there's a bathroom for all four of us and so this is just the common area of my dorm specifically um, usually people have furniture, couches, TVs, things, microwaves in here, but for us, we want to keep it minimalistic, <laughs> so we don't have much, but we just have a shoe rack, and then a bench, and then, um, yes, that's it for here. And then here, if you want to look to the bathroom, we have a pretty nice bathroom. It's two sinks, and then your usual shower, like, there's a rack to put on more stuff, which is very useful if you have four girls living in one space. So this is my room. Uh, my roommate and I shared this room. Hello, baby. So this is my side of the room. I got these for Ikea, actually. This and like, the posters. So I know it's very, very plain, but I will try to fix that and more stuff later. But this is my side. So I have a nice stand here. And you can move your furniture usually wherever you want to put it. But I just put it here for simplicity. And I got three drawers for your clothes. And then I have my actual closet here. And it's really spacious, actually. Um, usually this bit. But then I added a full length body mirror here. So I can, remember right now, I can check her off. And then we have our bed, or I have my bed here. It's very comfortable. I really, really appreciate this bed. And then we have a lot of space underneath for a lot of items. You can put a, another, you know, nice, like, small table underneath if you wanted to. I put my luggages down there. Um, I put my snack drawer, very important to have snack drawer. And then my, all my other things I need. And then I have my, here's my desk. It's very big too. It's, it's perfect sizing. It's this perfect size for doing your homework or doing your makeup or doing whatever you need to do. Oh, one thing that I really recommend when you are moving into dorm is getting one of these bedside lamps. These are very, very useful because if you want to study or read at nighttime but don't want to bother your roommate, you can just turn this on and it won't bother them and you're still, you still have this light that you need to do your work. My cousin actually gifted me this. I think it's so adorable. It's so pretty, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is very pretty and it's, it adds a little more spark to the room, which is very this is just my roommate's side of the room. As you can see, she really decorated it well. As you can see from like the photos, and it looks like a cloud. It's like a thought cloud. Looks like a brain. Looks like a brain. I feel like it looks like a brain. Oh, true. Okay, we have two different people. <laughs> so I think it's like a cloud. It looks like a brain. But yeah, it makes sense. And then at West, there are multiple types of rooms. So this is the most common type of room where there's, as I said earlier, two doubles one common area, one bathroom, that's known as like the suite. But there's also another type of room where there are four to five singles. So the same, the same space, but this is divided into single rooms instead of doubles. And those are usually reserved for upperclassmen because they have more priority in choosing their rooms. Thank you so much for coming to visit my dorm. I know it's not that decorated, but I'll try my best to decorate it more. And thanks for coming. And that's Weiss College. Before I end this video, I do want to give a quick shout out to Stephanie Hu. Thank you so much for spending your time to talk about Weiss and to show us your dorm. Make sure to go check out her channel at Stephanie Hu if you want to learn more about Rice. She has some amazing content. And finally, thank you guys for watching this far. I really do appreciate it. But anyways, this marks the second in a series of 11 videos where I'll be talking about Rice's residential colleges. So thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.